means if we want to be, to understand the message of Bhagavad Gita, we have to follow in the footsteps of Arjuna, we have to be a devotee. So the so-called guru, who's not a devotee of Krishna, uh, guru or nasya, is unfit. People ask, what is a bona fide guru? How do I know? This is the first qualification. You're not a devotee of Krishna, you're off the list. We don't care how big your beard is, how bright your eyes are, how many government ministers are offering you homage, how many magic tricks you can do, how many followers you have. You're not a devotee of Krishna, out, you're off the list. Mm -hmm. And Vaishnava Swapachal Guru, even if one is in a family of dog eaters, if he's a devotee of Krishna, he can become a guru. A Vaishnava Guru or Nasya, Vaishnava Swapachal Guru. So, Mahat, Sav Mahat Mahasadur Lavaha in the Bhagavad Gita. Pahunam janmanamante gyanavam maam prapadyate vasudeva sarvamiti samahatma sudurlava. The person who realizes that Krishna is everything uh, is actually the Mahatma. Hmm? Samahatma sudurlava. Atmanas tu maam parta daivim prakritam ashrita pajanchanam yamanaso gyatma bhutana madhura. In many places in Bhagavad Gita, Mahatma means the great devotee of Krishna, not anyone else. So if one wants to understand the message of Bhagavad Gita, if one wants to understand the essential message of spiritual realization, one has to approach the qualified teacher, qualified expert, qualified spiritual master, and he has to be a devotee of Krishna. Samitpani Shrotriyam Brahmanishta. He has to have come in the line of succession, Guru Parampara, and he has to have firm faith in Krishna. Or in summary, He's always absorbed in Krishna consciousness. If the goal is Krishna, then we have to find the person who's always engaged in the service of Krishna. Who's all much chitta bhargita prana, person who's always, you know, satatam kirti antoma, I'm always glorifying Krishna. The person who's talking about ordinary material mundane subject matters, he's not the person. He may be the guru for finance or for something else. But for solving the, coming to the real purpose of human life, one has to approach the bona fide spiritual master, uh, amanitva, with humility, without false pride. And therefore the Expression is used here that one should bathe oneself in the dust at the feet of the pure devotee. All of that austerity, all of that renunciation, all of these other things won't be effective. But if we get the dust of the feet of the devotee on our head, that will be effective. There are so many examples of how even an ordinary person became a great devotee became perfect in spiritual realization by the grace of a devotee of Vrindavan. So this was the instruction by Sad Bharat, that one should find such a devotee, <coughs> surrender humbly, render some service, and ask one's questions. Anivatena pariprasna in seva. Upadekshanti take and again then we can see Krishna. Otherwise it remains ordinary, compromised life. 
We go on with our day-to-day -day business, we go on with our religious duties, we go on with our work, we go on with our family responsibilities, we go on with our studies, we go on with everything. And we miss the point of life. We do all of these duties very nicely, but because we don't effectively revive our eternal relationship with Krishna, shramayeva dukkheno, it's a waste of time. The Bhagavatam, dharma svinistita pamsam vishvakshena katasuya, don't padayet yadiratim shramayeva dukkheno. If we do everything perfectly, all of our duties, and we don't develop a keen desire to hear about Krishna, and everything we've done is a waste of life, a waste of our time. Shramayeva Yukeno. Right. Sam Siddhi Haritoshanam. The perfection of life is to develop that eagerness to hear about Krishna, eagerness to understand Krishna, eagerness to read books like Bhagavad Gita as it is, eagerness to chant Hare Krishna. If we can do that, then how is it possible? It's possible by the grace of the pure devotee. That we should seek out. That will revolutionize our life. A revolution is required. Ordinary humdum, humdrum, pedestrian, business as usual, will result in death as usual and rebirth as usual. That's business as usual in the material world. But our real purpose, having come to this human form, is freedom from material existence and revival of our eternal relationship with Krishna. That's very joyful, that's very bright, that's inspiring and illuminating. That gives meaning to everything in our life. Anandam Budi Bhardhanam, that gives happiness at every moment. And all of that is possible if we get the touch of Krishna consciousness by the grace of the devotee of Krishna. But we should try for that.